November 22, 2025, a quiet revolution begins. No protests, no headlines, no breaking news ticker. Yet on that date, the entire foundation of global finance changes forever. For the first time in history, every bank, every central bank, every major payment network begins to speak the same digital language, ESO 20022. For decades, banks have communicated in code, cryptic, text-based messages designed in the 1970s. But now, that code is being rewritten, replaced by a rich, data-driven financial protocol that connects the old world of banking with the new world of blockchain. Part 1. The Origins of the Old Financial World Narrator To understand the significance of ESO 20022, we first need to look back to how the modern banking system actually talks. Back in 1973, a group of 239 banks from 15 countries founded SWIFT, the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. The goal was simple, build a secure, standardized way for banks to send payment instructions. Every international money transfer, from New York to Tokyo, from London to Dubai, relied on SWIFT's message formats, known as Mount Messages. These messages weren't money themselves, they were instructions telling one bank to debit one account and credit another. But there was a problem, the Mount system was built decades before the internet. Its format was text-based, limited, and rigid, as global trade, compliance requirements, and digital technology evolved, those messages started to show their age. Imagine trying to send a modern email attachment through a fax machine, that's how outdated legacy systems became. Part 2. What ESO 20022 really is, the new language of money. ISO 20022 isn't just an upgrade. It's an entirely new communication model, a universal language for money. Instead of short, unstructured text fields, ESO 20022 messages are built in a rich XML format, machine-readable, structured, and incredibly detailed. A single payment message can now include the exact reason for the transaction, the full digital identity of the sender and recipient, regulatory and compliance tags, metadata for automation, analytics, and reporting, this is transformative. For decades, banks and fintechs struggled to reconcile payments, manage fraud, and meet AML requirements because data was missing. ESO 20020 to solves that by embedding information directly into the payment message itself. Think of it as moving from Morse code to full sentences with context, emotion, and meaning, and the benefits go far beyond banking. ESO 20020 to lays the groundwork for machine-to-machine -machine payments, smart contracts, and even AI-driven finance. When your payment data becomes structured and intelligent, you unlock automation, transparency, and interoperability. Part 3. The Great Migration, November 22, 2025 On November 22, 2025, the global transition officially completes. From that date forward, all SWIFT participants handling cross-border payments will migrate from the old Mount messages to the new MX messages under the Finplus service. MT103, MT202, MT199, gone. Replaced by data-rich equivalents like PAX.008 and PAX.9, the new language of global value transfer. This means every major commercial bank, central bank, and payment provider will now operate on the same structured data layer, ESO 20022. In other words, the world's financial nervous system is being rewired, silently, but completely. Part 4. Why ESO 20020 to changes everything, narrator. ESO 20020 to changes not just how payments move, but what they carry. Under the old system, payments were dumb, they only carried amounts and account numbers. Under ESO 20022, payments become smart messages, full of contextual data that can be read, analyzed, and acted upon instantly. Banks can detect fraud patterns in real time. Regulators can monitor illicit flows with precision. Corporates can reconcile transactions automatically. 
This is the foundation of what many call the Internet of Value, where information and money move together seamlessly and instantly. Part V, the bridge to digital assets and CBDCs. For years, blockchain and banking have lived in separate worlds, different systems, different data languages. Blockchains like Ripple, Stellar, Hedera, and Quant already use structured, ESO-compatible formats for messaging. That's why the adoption of ESO 20,022 matters so much. It's the bridge between on-chain and off-chain finance. Central banks issuing CBDCs can now connect directly to traditional payment infrastructure without translation barriers. Stablecoins, tokenized deposits, and bank-issued digital assets will all speak the same ESO language. ESO 20022 isn't just a standard. It's the Rosetta Stone of modern finance. The technology layer for the new financial system is forming, and ESO 20022 is its grammar. Part 6. The Opportunities. Every transformation brings opportunity. For banks, ESO 20022 unlocks new data-driven services, instant cross-border payments, predictive liquidity management, and automated compliance. For fintechs and startups, it opens APIs and new market access. For investors and developers in blockchain, it creates a pathway to integrate with the world's largest financial infrastructure. ESO 20022's rich metadata allows for programmable money, where payments can carry conditions, triggers, or smart logic. Imagine a mortgage payment that automatically adjusts with interest rate changes, or a cross-border salary that splits taxes and benefits automatically. That's what's coming. Part 7. The Risks and Challenges But like any revolution, there are risks. Standardization doesn't mean simplicity. Migration is complex, banks must overhaul legacy systems, retrain staff, and ensure compliance. There's also data overload, rich messages mean more sensitive information, and more privacy concerns. The cost of non-compliance or misconfiguration could be severe. Smaller institutions risk being left behind if they can't meet the technical requirements in time. Those who adapt will thrive, those who don't may find themselves disconnected from global value chains. Part 8, ESO 20022 and the Quantum Financial Era. There's a deeper layer to this transformation, one tied to the rise of quantum computing and, and next-generation encryption. As quantum systems emerge, financial networks will require even stronger cryptography. ESO 20022's structured design is prepared for that evolution. Some call it the foundation of the quantum financial system QFS, a future where data integrity, transparency, and automation reach quantum-secured levels. Whether that vision is branded QFS or something else, one thing is clear, ESO 20022 is the stepping stone. Part 9. The Future, Finance Beyond 2030 Fast forward to 2030. The world's payments ecosystem looks entirely different. Every transaction, from a $1 micropayment to a $1 billion corporate transfer, flows through structured, interoperable networks. Central bank digital currencies coexist with stablecoins and tokenized assets, all communicating through ESO 20022. Artificial intelligence monitors liquidity and fraud in real time. Smart contracts execute compliance automatically and behind all of it. ISO 20022 quietly hums in the background, the invisible language powering the global economy. Part X Conclusion, The Silent Revolution November 22, 2025 A date that will not appear in history textbooks, but one that will shape history nonetheless. When the old world of finance, fragmented, slow, opaque, finally begins to merge with the new world, digital, interoperable, transparent. ISO 20022 isn't a buzzword. It's the foundation for the next century of money. The future of finance won't be decided by who controls the money, but by who controls the data behind it. And on November 22, 2025, the world begins to speak that data fluently. Written and narrated by ESOCoin Insider, 
Subscribe for more deep dives into blockchain, digital finance, and the quantum era. Because the next revolution won't be televised, it'll be tokenized.